OpenAI just launched ChatGPT Atlas, a new browser with AI baked in. Every LLM company wants to have a browser, but only on Mac right now, not on Windows. That's surprising because OpenAI has so often been connected to Microsoft and Microsoft, of course, is still best known for its Windows operating system. Windows has a lot more users. Microsoft is behind a lot of OpenAI's infrastructure with Azure. And so it's odd that they're launching on Apple's turf first. And I think it's strategic. I think Mac users on the browser side, at least, are easier to get to move. They probably are less locked into other browsers. I don't think Safari is particularly strong competition. I would guess that they did some studies and probably found that Mac users are also probably probably chat GPT users. Meanwhile, launching on Windows probably steps on the toes of Microsoft Edge and also runs into the popularity of Chrome, which is pretty entrenched for a lot of Windows users. On the business to business side of things, you also have a lot of enterprise IT departments, which control a, a lot of access and a browser that remembers what you've been searching for and everything you've chatted it and everything you've input is probably not super friendly to privacy and security controls. Uh, so they may have run into some issues there. I think it's also a quiet win for Apple. Uh, they've been so far behind in AI, they are probably just thrilled to be the launch partner here. Um, I, I think it's, it's sort of a buzzy AI announcement since OpenAI is one of the big companies out there, and it helps them feel a little more relevant and look a little more relevant, even if their own products suck and are stupid and probably should burn to the ground. Here's looking at you, Apple Intelligence and Siri. The, the bottom line is AI is not going to be content to just be a website you visit or an app that you occasionally open. The end goal of AI is to become your browser browser and then your operating system where all of your content and all of your interactions flow through. And I think this is a step for OpenAI to play some different sides to get to that destination while they seek to build some connections to hardware that they don't have today.